this thing here we used to use on stage is from the uh, x lax building in Brooklyn. And it's this real cool enamel, brown enamel on there. And uh, we were there about, about three years ago. And uh, they were tearing down all the letters and it said, x lax the, the original home of x lax was went a whole block. You can imagine how big the word x lax would be with this. And they were tearing it down, and this guy, I said, can I have that X? And he goes, sure, uh, sure, kid, uh, come back in about an hour. And I came back, and, and he hadn't taken it down. And I said, well, I, can I still get that X? And he goes, oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Tony, Tony, go take your X down, and, and be careful with it. So he takes it down, and it just drops straight to the ground. He goes, OK, Tony, bring it over here. Here you go, kid. I don't know why you want this, but Keep it. You got a part of the X-Lax building because it's getting torn down. And that's, you know, it's a pretty good thing to have. I love you, baby, but you got on. been in bands and had done cover songs and learned traditional harmony. So I knew that. Maxine had never been in other bands, so she didn't have that traditional harmony in her head. You know? So she just sang along until something sounded right. And so we got a real different sound. But you got I liked country and western when I was growing up. I've been able to go back and listen to all the music that's been around forever. You know, just the old country people like Hank Williams, and Loretta Lynn, and then the blues guys like Lead Belly and Holland Wolf and all that stuff. Which is, I think, the best kind of influences you can have are the original sources. Of that, you know, in other words, Led Zeppelin doing Robert Johnson songs isn't a good influence, I don't think. Robert Johnson is. Well, that works out pretty easy, actually. 